Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Whenever you click into a text box and place it into text edit mode, you'll see the rulers appear if you have your rulers displayed, and you'll also see the tab button, which is the button in the upper left hand corner of the rulers where they meet. This tab button is a toggle button, and every time you click it, it changes the type of tab that you could set in the text box. The available tabs are left, which looks like the little L. Click it again, you get an upside down T, that's a center tab. Click it again, a backwards L, that's a right tab. Or the upside down T with the little dot at the right side, that's a decimal tab. And you can set a tab by clicking the tab button until it displays the type of tab you want. And then clicking into the place where you'd like to set the tab stop in the ruler. So there we'll set a center tab and let's say we set a decimal tab over here. Then you hit tab on your keyboard to jump out under the tab stop and type your text. Tab again to move to the next tab stop. Enter to the next line, tab again tab again. Enter to create another line, tab out again. And keep repeating that process. Notice that each type of tab that you set dictates how the text underneath it will align. So the left tab will left align text. The center tab, you can see, centers all the text underneath it. The right tab would right align text underneath it. And the decimal tab will align numbers by their decimal point. Notice that if whatever you typed was not decimal, it was text, it instead acts like a right tab, right aligning it. To clear tab settings, you may click into the text box and just simply click and drag the tab setting that you want to get rid of off into the actual slide. You may then choose a different tab from the tab button, let's say a right tab this time, and then click again to reset tabs. Unlike Word, where you can set tabs for each paragraph, in PowerPoint, tabs can only be set once for the whole text box. And so each line within the text box has to have the same tab stops available to it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.